I thought you got slapped once. You literally said, Pete, bed, now. Three words. Pete, bed, now. How vile is that? <laughs> like, uh, am I supposed to go, oh, yeah. <laughs> now I'm bang up for it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Therapy Crouch with me, Abby Clancy. And me, Peter Crouch. That was really thought formal. Was it? Quite formal, yeah. Considering before the one we did before, which we cut, was, hey, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Why didn't you do that? Well, it, it seems I can't do anything right in your eyes. Why? Mr. Perfect, go on, you do it. What, 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 what do you mean? I you can't, say you hello can't and welcome then. Hello and welcome to the Therapy Crouch with me, Peter Crouch. And me, Avi Clancy. Much, <laughs> much better. <laughs> no, I just want to say, joking aside, Thank you for your um, ongoing support. We have been overwhelmed. It's crazy to think that so many of you like our podcast when we are just, uh, you know, our aim is to help people and to give some reputable advice. Um, but I think we just have a laugh. Oh, it's been fun, yeah. But like, like I say, it's nice to, to sit down and um, and chat to each other, you know, without the, the kids disturbing us. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Go to Happy it, One sec. Birthday, dear producer Ross. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Uh, so this um, leads me quite nicely into my uh, wine of the week, actually. Okay. Because I asked Pete to get you a birthday cake, and this is what he came back with. Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> it's a friggin' controller. Ross, do you want to make a wish? Uh, Come on. I uh, know you're not getting double pay because we're filming on bank holiday. You can frig off. Yay! Yay! Well done, mate. Uh, yeah, I, I got you. Uh, it was that. It was between that and a tiara cake, <laughs> Princess Tiara. But I went for the Xbox cake because I know you're a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Ross, man. Thank you very How much. How old are you today, darling? Twenty-seven. The big two seven. The 20, big two seven. Twenty seven. Fucking hell! I wish I was twenty seven. You wish mm. you were thirty seven. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend? What did you do over the weekend? We've had a, actually a lovely weekend. It's kind of um really busy with kids' school parties. Mm. Seems to be a busy time. The bolt beats season. must have started like nine months ago. Quite you know, there's, there's a lot of birthdays. There's a lot of birthdays at, at this time. Yeah. April, kind of May, June. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so we, like Ab went to one uh, party with one of the kids and I went to another. I lucked out really because the sun was shining. The kids were happy. I could see them and a few of the dads were there and we, we just had a few beers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had a touch. Meanwhile, me. I'm running through the fucking forest yeah. on Epsom Downs, um, chasing Jeffrey. Jeffrey's just demolishing the whole party t food table. Um, going in he, bin bags yeah he's just a scavenger wouldn't have done that if I was there oh. no, but Jeffrey, I actually Jeffrey love sit. it <laughs> sure <laughs> it's that what is it the matriarch the patriarch you're the master yeah I, I, I run the show with Jeffrey don't I I'm so pleased with it because I just don't run the show with anyone else <laughs> in this household <laughs> no one listens to me I say kids here they go piss off dad <laughs> <laughs> No, we've had a lovely weekend, jam pack with kids' parties. Um, we went for a lovely Sunday roast. Yeah, it was nice. Which Pete was mortified that I complained about. It's well, not on worse than going out for a shit roast. No, but you, you just prefer your own roast, don't you? Like, you get used to a certain thing. Like a red wine Jew, right, is not what you want. I can't bear a red wine you, Jew. You want like a Toby Jew. Carver. Fuck off with your red wine Jew. Jew. Give me some Bisto now. Yeah, don't don't put red wine in it. Just like, just granulate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I make the best gravy on earth. I'm going to give you a little uh, rundown. I, I, I love your gravy. Oh, yeah, this, the listeners will love this. Okay, so if I'm making rundown a... Rundown on the gravy. <laughs> do, you want a, do you want a lamb or a beef gravy? Lamb. Okay, so I've got me like a lamb. Mm. It's rosemary and garlic up to fuck. Amazing. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> so, gravy time. I get my pan, boiling water. I get the, the juice out of the meat, pour it in. Extra garlic. Little splash of red wine. Are you putting red wine in it? It's only a tiny bit. Mm. Um, two lamb stock cubes. 
an oxo mm. and bisto gravy granules. Mix it up. It's phenomenal. That does sound good. It's phenomenal. No, it is. I like, I like your gravy. I've just never asked what you, what you do. But it's so easy and, it, you know, I can't. I cannot st- stand the red wine you. I just it's it's just when it's too it's too like rich. It's like uh, it's a posh gravy, isn't it? Mm. You don't want posh gravy. Do you remember when I was pregnant and just wanted a Toby Carvery? Mm. Like it had to be a Toby Carvery, and <laughs> I don't know why. It was just something about it. It's ca- kind of school dinner, mm. school Christmas dinner esque. Oh. They are nice though. You can't deny them. Can't deny it. School dinners, those those kind of school dinners. Actually, I'd go, I'd like to go back and have one of those. Oh, I used, used to, to complain love... at the time. Didn't I know ne- how didn't know we were born. I had... <laughs> <laughs> the years of eating Abby's food <laughs> from a school dinner. I, I used to have sausage chips and beans every oh, day. Oh, lovely that! Yeah, I used to. Do you know, I used to eat at break time when I went to high, like high school. It was more like there was more high school fa- fa- fast food. Yeah, or secondary Sweet school. <laughs> secondary school. <laughs> I used to go to town in the break. Mm. Before lunch, I used to have a burger and a pizza mm. in the break. Why are you so thin then? That's highly tuned athlete, aren't My I? My mum used to give me like £20 for the week and I'd literally spend it on the first day. Do you remember going around to all your friends in school? Have you got 10p? Yeah. <laughs> Did you used to do that? Have you got spare 10p? Remember the burgers used to be like 30p and that? Like... I used to get, we used to go to the dairy and get these, ugh, like it was like a big crusty carb. And, and, and they used to have this, like, the meat slicer, big turkey on there, turkey, salad, um, mayonnaise, onion, and then they used to make these homemade chocolate cakes. Oh, my God. Unreal. Mm. I, I went for a lovely ladies' lunch, something that I don't do quite often. Because I don't know why I don't do that much. I always say to you, you should, you know. I think because I'm just so busy, like, with work and the kids. There's no time. To, I, I I always forget to kind of socialize. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You get everything you need from me, don't you? That's yeah, why I usually. I do. <laughs> I actually do, and I actually feel weird if you're not there. Uh, but yeah, no, I think you should do that more often. You know. Yeah. So my friend um has launched this amazing wine called Lady A. It's named after me, obviously. And uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> and we had a gorgeous lunch in the Ivy, and it was nice to catch up with everyone. And Pete come and. Met me at the end because I was scared to get a cab home alone. Gentleman. gentleman he's dead. They say they say he's dead, but it's it's not. Um, yeah, and, and she was bladded. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to beat around the bush there. She was hammered. But I had but no I, hangover, no, you're which is right. a testament to the wine because it's quite difficult to find a rosé wine that doesn't kill you the next day the hangovers mm. off roses are normally phenomenal well do you remember we did <clears throat> remember in the south of france that time we went and i um we drank it like throughout the afternoon had a big lunch and carried on all night but we, it was hot and i wasn't drinking any water so i was dehydrated on the rose all day do you remember i was lying there dehydrated and, bender yeah <laughs> you remember and like or, I, it was about two in the morning. I started. I was literally crying with the headache, <laughs> and I had to wake you up. And do you remember you putting like wet towels on my on flannel yeah, you were on my crying. forehead? He, he actually got in the pool I in the middle of the night, and I, I went for a swim. So I'm doing breaststroke at three in the morning <laughs> to just cure this headache that I had. And I, I'm not one for a headache, am I? Or a no. hangover, really? And I was doing breaststroke at three in the morning, dunking your head under the water. But it sort of helped in a weird way. Yeah. And then I got in the pool after I'd done that. <laughs> Shut up. So, my wine of the week is... I just don't know how long I can go on with these sexual emojis that you keep sending me. <laughs> it's just driving me insane. <laughs> so, like, if the kids... If the kids, like, go to school and he hears me, like, put the key in the door, I'm in, no one's in the house, I just get a beaver and an aubergine emoji text. <laughs> And I'm just like, Question what mark. the fuck is that? No, I'm not even going to say the last one, but you can imagine what it there's is. Three emo- there's three emojis. Peach. It's, it's, they're, hi- they're, it's, hi- it's got a bit of hydration in there. <laughs> How vile is that? Like, am I supposed to go, oh, yeah. Now I'm bang up for I'm it. I'm up right now. I'm it's at, a little beaver like the- this. <laughs> oh, beaver. And a, a, the, like, let me, the beaver emoji, I think. Is the best emoji out of the lot. I think it's incredible. It's just a little beaver. In- <laughs> but what is that about? Do you, do you, is that actually like 
<laughs> Do you think you're going to get lucky with that me- with those messages? I'm just letting you know. I'm just putting my cards on the table. And it's always by text and not WhatsApp <laughs> as well. So because we WhatsApp each other <laughs> yeah, daily. Text, I know that because you, you switch off the notifications on WhatsApp, I don't. don't you? I hate no, blue no, tick. Not, the, not the blue. If ticks. you're a blue tick, turn her off her. No. Can't be trusted. Red flag. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Red but, flag. No, Total no, I'm, red flag. I'm talking about notifications. Like it doesn't come through to your phone because you have all the groups, so you you have to silence them. So you just go into WhatsApp and see it. Has Whereas with a text, you know how to silence a group. No, no, silence. I've just you just I, you turn your notification off so you don't get ding, 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 ding. How do you do that? Day. I don't do that. We should do that. It's have you seen that? You know, in those groups is like 200 messages. You can't have your phone just going all day. Mine does. Yeah, just turn I it off. I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have that. God, I So that's why sometimes, like, I love text... it when people leave the group. <laughs> don't you? Yeah. I love leaving a group. It's so funny. So passive-aggressive, though, it's isn't so it? Oh, it's unreal. It's like, <laughs> you know, we're, there's we're... nothing in this group that I want to hear anymore. <laughs> no, Not one thing. We're on a Portugal group with Caroline, John, Kitty and Flo. Nobody knows who they are, though. Yeah, but they're our friends. Okay. Caroline and John got a mention last week, um, a few weeks ago. John just left the group. Yeah, yeah, he just had enough. Yeah. I couldn't believe well, I get, that. I get that. My mate, I've had a couple of lads do that once. Just, just leave the group, and then just got re-added like straight away. Can you take people out of the group? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Can you? If you're the admin, I believe so. It's I've a weird never thing been with... the admin. I, I, I've never set up a group. I wouldn't know how to. I'd love to know. But getting back to it, like that, I know that that text is going to get through, and I, I need it to get through quick. <laughs> The beaver, the beaver aubergine emotion. <laughs> Got a five minute window of opportunity. <laughs> I just, I just think it's hilarious that you're, um, you've chose the emoji to represent your manhood at uh, the um, aubergine. Yeah. What do you, what do you want it to be? There's a little stick emoji. <laughs> stick emoji. A little peanut. <laughs> Why don't you use the peanut one? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I get back? The fucking no entry sign. <laughs> Peter probably used the tunnel emoji for me and the peanut for him. <laughs> That's what we should do in future. I like the aubergine. Makes me feel, makes me feel good. Manly. <laughs> makes you feel manly. So yeah, this needs to stop because I just feel like I'm married to an in-betweener. All right. What, do you, what would you like? Just like... Why don't you just... Um, like a Barry White. Just I was just about something. to say that. Let's get it on. Oh my God. That's what I was just about to say. But now that's such your sex song, is no. it right? Marvin Gaye. Mm. Ross's bonk beat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is, that Hopefully is you lose yeah, your virginity Marvin, yeah. now you're 27, Ross. <laughs> Not in this way, clever. <laughs> 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 well, if we're going to move, let's move on to my one then. Okay, so um, are you going to. Uh, are you going to apologise or is it going to continue? Apologise? It's only a gag, isn't it? I'm not really like... Well, it's not a gag. What, well, no, there's a hidden meaning in there. There's a hidden well, meaning? Hidden so, about uh, it. Are, you, are you like trying to like win me over with humour or do you find those emojis... I don't think they're very sexy. Sexual. No, I think it's quite funny though. It, I, when I send them... It but I'm not really going to make... come up to the bedroom like laugh my head off. <laughs> come up here I mean, me... in hysterics. <laughs> Let's get down to business. What it does, it, it's got a, it's got an underlying like serious motive, and then it's quite it makes me laugh quite a lot. So okay. it's a double whammy for me. I'm like, it might something great might happen, and also it really makes me laugh. Betty, <laughs> 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 I'll refrain. I'll hold back because the beaver emojis. Yeah, but if you don't send me the beaver emojis, then I'll be a bit like. He doesn't fancy me anymore. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, you are, if you ask for it. What would you like me to do? I think you quite like the beaver emojis because you have you have sent me a beaver emoji before. <laughs> I have not you have, sent you. Have. you. <laughs> Let's be honest here. We're open and honest. You can, you can say. I have you never sent, sent you a beaver emoji. <laughs> yeah. As if... As if you're such a liar. You gave me Beaver thumbs up once. <laughs> no, I didn't. It was Beaver fist pump. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, fist pump and a Beaver. You don't want them in the same. You don't want a fist and a Beaver in the same sentence. Fucking hell! Delete that Certainly message. Don't. Delete it. Certainly don't. <laughs> God, Pete, you're making me out to be right. It's mixed signals. <laughs> Sending me mixed signals. It is mixed. Told me off as well. <laughs> oh. 
Oh God. Okay. Uh, well, and, cheers, anyway. And I um, you love the beaver. Let's be honest. You love it, really. You do enjoy it. It's funny. So it's not. It's not like I'm not trying to be serious. It's a fun. It's a good gag. I think people out there like you should definitely start send just see how you get on. Like if your wife might not listen to this podcast or something, just just throw her a beef emoji tonight. <laughs> see how you get on. <laughs> you not all people might call their vagina a beaver. Like yeah. people might not even know that that's a name for it. <laughs> yeah, well, if you don't, you're missing out. Why do they call vaginas I beavers? Beaver is a disgusting animal. <laughs> I hate them. It's like a copper buyer. <laughs> Yeah, it's a I don't know actually I don't know the history of that Copper let me get on to Susie Dent my, uh... and ask her what is the origin of a beaver um, Google it, it what, Google. why is it called a beaver why do people refer to vaginas as beavers what the pubic wigs were called merkins <laughs> it, oh my god it's dark they were manufactured for prostitutes these merkins were made out of beaver pelts <laughs> Hence the term beaver. Oh, that's not true. Okay, what's your wine, baby? My wine's been going it's on. It's your for wine a... that I don't respond to your emotions. <laughs> just to get the number. Yeah, I just don't even get a response. I like, don't <laughs> even a laugh or a like, you know, yeah, I'm up for that. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, but I still do it anyway. Uh, my wine is basically, I wrote it down um, because this one really <laughs> annoyed me. Do you know what he does now? Oh, because we're, we're, we're doing this pod. We'll just be lying in bed, like watching telly. And I'll say something, he'll like jump out the bed, get his phone and write it in his notes. <laughs> no, what are you doing, babe? Nothing. No, nothing. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Um, no, it's basically like, so if I'm sitting down, like on my own, like I'll be watching telly or uh, doing something, right? Ab will come and sit much closer than she is now, like there, uh, whilst talking to a friend on loudspeaker. <laughs> right? So like it, like what the hell is going on like I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something or I'm watching telly like right there there's there's a lot of rooms in this house and like you know she'll sit right next to me and it's like yeah no I can't believe it yeah oh because she didn't she didn't say that <laughs> oh my I can't believe it oh she's such a bitch <laughs> <laughs> and then but I get the reply on loudspeaker like it's so loud what is that all about I just don't do that you do it all the time all the time constantly you don't ever talk not a loudspeaker. I know because I hate holding the phone up to me. ear. But you know what get, I found I don't as well. Get waves in my brain. Mm. What I found is she'll do that, do that, but like she'll be on. You don't even do that. You do that whilst on something else. <laughs> so you'll be shopping whilst speaking on loudspeaker. So there's so Can much you going on. Pigeonhole females chatting what, and shopping. That's exactly what you're. <laughs> that's exactly what you do. It's either Instagram whilst you're chatting on loudspeaker, whilst I'm, might you know doing something watching something no because I'm thinking oh god look at him sitting on his own I'll go and keep him company <laughs> um, I'd like you to keep me company if you came down and sat next to me and talked to me but not 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 that like loud catch up with your mate loud catch up yeah uh, it's too much okay alright address that please I'll bear that in mind <clears throat> anyway cheers to that weekly wines more beavers <laughs> <laughs> No, and I will um, have my loud catch-ups elsewhere. Elsewhere, future. Thanks, babe. Really appreciate that. Right, let's get into the audience wines. Uh, this one says, every time me and my partner have a drink, he falls asleep. Although after a couple of wines, I'm excited to get going. Any advice? So I suppose it's got two meanings. This is either like she wants to go out or she wants to get laid. Diggy, diggy. laid? She wants to get the bonk, bonk beats on. Laid? What's, what's wrong with laid? Fuck. What, what's wrong with laid? Never said the word laid. I don't think I've ever dialogue. said it either. <laughs> I don't He's know why I've said that. high school and laid. Have you been watching American Pie lately? <laughs> <laughs> it's too much YouTube, isn't it? What, what are you looking at on YouTube? No, hey I'm guys, just... 10 tips how to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> Send your partner a beaver emoji. <laughs> Go on then, give some advice. I, I won't say laid again. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she meant like get going as in. Go out. Well, Let's he goes this... to sleep. So there's two ways of looking at it, isn't it? She wants to, she wants to get it on, or she wants to uh, go out on the town. Or but both. he sounds like a boring bastard. Yeah. Sometimes you can have a drink and it gets you, makes you so sleepy. Mm, it depends if you're just at home. Like there's things like Christmas Day where you've eaten too much, you've had a few, you know, a few too many drinks, or sitting down watching the football, you end up falling asleep. But 
I've if you're out and about, I've never, I've never, in my entire life, had a nap on Christmas Day. Have you not? No. Why not? Why? Why do you think? Your brother does all the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt hard. That didn't it? That hurt yeah, hard. I say that. that hurt hard because you prepare it and he cooks it. He makes like some freaking shitty red cabbage with dates in or something, <laughs> <laughs> just to add. Have you got any honey? Um, I never sleep. On no, I don't even do I. Do I sleep on Christmas Day? Yes. No, I don't. I've got video evidence of it all. While well, I'm cleaning up and tidying everywhere. You're having a nap. But anyway, no, I think um, that's not a problem we have, is it, together? Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? You know, if you've got a, like, if you're on two different, it's the bonk beat situation, isn't it? But she should just get them on the vodka Red Bulls. <laughs> Or the Jager bombs? Ugh. Jager bombs. Well, God. I just think tell him to slow down a bit, little Espresso bit. Espresso martini? On the drink. Mm. Maybe yeah. just slow down on the drink. No, you know, I'm not thinking of him having had loads of drinks. I'm thinking of like one and go to sleep. Oh, that's but some good. people have a drink to relax and then wind down and Unwind. fall asleep. Or some people will have, have a drink to uplift them and crack on. Yeah, it's all about staying on the same page, isn't it? You, you, but we're what, always on the same page, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I'd say so, usually. Although I do go to bed sooner than you. Uh, well, it depends. It depends. Like in Portugal, and I was just looking out the window, and everyone could like you could see me, and said I was like the exorcist in the window, like trying to make you go to bed. And Pete was just like looking straight at me, <laughs> but ignoring me. And I'm like, get everyone home now. I want everyone to go. I want to go to bed. And Worst just... thing is, in the, in the end, right? I could see her doing that. She was doing just doing it to me. Yeah. And in the end... Um, you were ignoring me? She, I was ignoring her. <laughs> and then in the end, she blew her lid right and did it in front of everyone. She said, keep Pete, bed, now, right? And then obviously I was with the lads and the lads are like, you can't, you cannot let her talk to you like that. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's in my head, I've had a few beers, I'm like, if I go up now, like, I'm going to get ruined by all the lads. So I'm like, I just now have to make a stand. <laughs> so it wasn't know, like bed, now. You literally said, Pete, bed, now. Three words. <laughs> Pete, bed, now. That's what you said. And then that, that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the finger. <laughs> and I was like, I can't. And I was like, if you go to her now, you're a complete pussy. <laughs> and I was like, I cannot go now. So I had to do another hour. But I wasn't want... even, oh, I did, I wanted to go to bed, yeah. I was quite, I was quite, quite happy going to bed. But you just don't know when to stop and it drives me mad. The, they are the odd occasion where I'm like, half an hour more, half an hour more, five hours later. <laughs> Okay, got another one here. Uh, just listening to last week's podcast about kids during the holidays. My girls are 14, 11, and, and 8. I think the problem is kids these days always need entertaining. When like 10 plus, uh, it wasn't really my mum and dad's job to entertain us. I was mm. always out. I think now everyone is too scared to let their kids out. My 14-year-old comes down and asks me what we're doing today. And I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> when I was your age, I was camping in a field with booze and my mum thought I was around my friends. <laughs> Not that I want her to do that, obviously. Um, people can't afford days out every day. Yeah. This is a valid point, this, isn't it? This, this is a huge dilemma that we have in our house. Like, our kids no matter what they're doing, playing in the garden, playing with the toys, they want us with them. Mm. They never entertain themselves and it does drive me mad. Obviously, I love playing with the kids and doing nice things with them, but it's unrealistic to do that all day, mm. every day and days out. They do get up and go, what are we doing today? And I'm like, nothing. I've got stuff to do. Like, go and play. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like, I, like you, you said it yesterday. Um, when we were at lunch, she was like, why are our kids fucking sitting with us? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, that's such a good point. It's like, we were, we were in this we're in, beautiful place. Like, There's outdoors. a meadow. There's trees. Trees, like massive tree. You, yeah. could you know, there was loads of like dogs. Like there was, there was four Labradors there. R1, a golden one, a, a brown one and a fox red. And they were lovely all running around together. And our kids are just like sitting there. Can I, can I go on your phone? Um, no. Go and make a daisy chain in the meadow. Don't you can't play on iPhones or iPads? You know, yeah, I, I feel like that's a problem like... nowadays. Kids don't know how to play. Well, the thing is, is like I, I, we took ourselves back to like we wouldn't come near our, our mums and dads there. Oh Would my god! Like you'd just be you'd be away and you'd be like hiding from them. Go and play hide and seek. The tree was amazing. Wasn't it a big oak tree? Go and climb that. Or like there was there was long grass, dogs, like little 
bugs to pick up. I don't know. <laughs> like, let's get a football and kick it around. Yeah. When you used to go around to your mum and dad's ha- friends' houses for like a barbecue or whatever, you'd be terrified to go near them in case he said, right, we're going home now. Yeah. So mm. you just stay away and you just play. <clears throat> and I know that, you know, nowadays it's not really safe to let our kids play in the street and that's something I wouldn't do. Yeah, the safety aspect of that, I get, you know, like it's it's... Back in the day, you were just out and about all day, weren't you? Yeah, summer holidays, like for me, they were like never ending and we were just in the street constantly playing and you can't do that now. But I I think the trouble starts to arise with like the teens. Because Sophia was really annoyed at me the other day because a few of her friends are going into like the town centre to go shopping. But these girls are like 14 and they get in the train and they're going. Sophia's only just turned 12 and she's like, you're ruining my life. I hate you. Why can't I go? And I'm like, because you're 12, babe. It's not safe. It's not, is it? No, I don't want to go on our own yet. You know, like it's far, far too early for that, I think. Mm. Um, I'm trying to rewind back to me and you at 12. Like, were, were you, how were you behaving at 12? Still a baby at that 12, age. 12, I was good. 14, not so much. You, when I speak to your daddy, said you were a pain in the ass. No, we, 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 we would definitely lie to our parents at that age. You know, we go and sit in a park and drink or, you know, it's yeah. part of life and everyone does it. That park thing's a mad one, isn't it? I did that a couple of times. But I was, like I say, I was playing, trying to be a footballer. Like, even when I was young, I thought about it all the time. So I'd go down there and pretend to drink and wouldn't. <laughs> and uh, everyone had, like, a cans of K cider. And uh, they'd sit around the park and you all just freeze. And... <laughs> There's no one there. But they'd be like a group. They'd be like a group of girls and a group of boys. They wouldn't integrate. You, you wouldn't mix until right near the very end. Yeah, and then we, we'd normally get like a bottle of wine or something between like six of us, and then carry the half bottle of wine home with us. Like we're quite pathetic looking back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it would look totally pointless. Pretend that um, you were blooded. Pretend I was blooded. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so drunk. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> But, you you know, you'd be so angry, like, I'd rather sort of have a fun house. And when you're getting around that kind of time where, you know, they're, they're 17, 18. Well, I, I, think, I think the thing to do, you know, we're very open and honest with our kids. And, mm. you know, we're not ourself, a different p- person with our friends to mm. our kids. You know, we're us all the time. And I think our kids do enjoy being around us. We're fun. I well, think. I want to make it a fun house yeah. so that, that, you know, their friends want to come here. Have you caught, Have you ever caught the kids trying to pull a fast one yet? Yes. Or oh, no? We're still really early, to be honest. We're still early, aren't we? That's, the only time they lie to us, it's, if it's like, have you been eating chocolate? And they're like, no. And the whole face is like covered <laughs> <Yeah>. in chocolate. <laughs> no, I haven't. You know, we're, it's kind of very innocent still. Yeah. In Did you, house. what was the bit, what was the most trouble you got in when you were young? I remember once, um, I think I was about 15 and my mum was a teacher in a college at the, at this point, like teaching like young kids who'd kind of gone to do the, mm-hmm. the A-levels, I think, in a college. Was it A-levels or GCSEs? A-levels. Gone to do the A-levels in a college. And me and my friends, we'd all decided, right, we're going out. We're going out on the town. But we're young, we're 15. We haven't got them kind of going out clothes. So we all borrowed our mum's clothes. I remember having Charlotte's, my friend Charlotte's mum's shoes on. I wore my mum's black work pants, like black suit pants. Does that work? <laughs> yeah, no, like a black trouser. <laughs> Charlotte's mum's high heels. And one, I think one of like Holly's aunties, like tops. One, remember them sequin butterflies? Do you remember them tops? No. So it's like a pink all sequin butterfly. It's like Mariah Carey wore one once. We all went out. So we all come up. Mum, can I stay in Charlotte's this weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all told, obviously, the classic told each other's parents who were staying in, in their houses. So we went out to the club, went out to the bars. We all had about £15 each as well, by the way. <laughs> we went to bar- various bars. And then we had to go to this club in Liverpool called The Sunrise. And the name speaks for itself. Mm, it's open to like 7am. But because we had to wait till our mums went out to, to work to come back mm-hmm. so we stayed there till seven you stayed oh out till God. seven in the yeah. morning we 15 stayed... quid wow. yeah I know we stayed there till seven and then or like six I think it shut at six so we stayed in there till six then we had to hide in our road in our like butterfly tops and work pants <laughs> and, 
Oh. And then, ha- like, drunk as well, and, like, hide in a bush, wait for our parents to go, and then we got in. So then, I, obviously, I was dying all day on the couch, exhausted and hung over to death. And then my mum come home and was like, oh, I was like, mum, I've got tonsillitis. So my mum was, like, <laughs> waiting on me hand and foot while I was lying on the couch, quilt on the couch. That's outrageous. Hot drinks, honey and lemon. She made me homemade soups, really looking after me. And then next day, she went into work, and they were like, oh, we saw your Abby in the sunrise. Oh so come God. home, mum come home, still on the couch. Mum's like, feeling better, babe. Oh, yeah, oh, my throat's still a bit sore, all of that. And then I just got absolutely annihilated. Oh, my God. Battered. <laughs> she knew, she told me all the girls had told her that I was there. And I don't think it was the fact that I'd been out. It was more the fact that I'd lied and she'd been looking after me for two days. Mm. But my God, I'd never been so scared in my life. Yeah, It kind of put me off as well. Uh, yeah yeah <laughs> didn't want to tell that one did you? <laughs> no because no, all these stories are about me being drunk and it's yeah, just giving up the un- wrong underage, impression underage drinking isn't it it's yeah. not good the thing is it happens right and like our kids are going to go through it they're going to want to start going out like where's safe for them to go where you know do we go with them I, I've said, I, I think it, once Sophia starts going out we should send Barry with her yeah. So Barry is like a renowned kind of security guard on the scene. He's been on the scene for years and everyone loves him, but he's like huge mm. and would put anyone off going near Sophia. <laughs> it's a sort of a good and a, a bad thing, really, isn't it? <laughs> like, I don't think she's going to be too pleased with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's so hard because you know yourself, like what you're up to, like, you know, few of the mums at the, the few of my friends who like went to boarding school and stuff said they used to just like drink the whole time mm. and like hide like empty bottles in like the ceiling of their room and <laughs> you know sneaking into each other's dorms to snog the boys and stuff at night like but that 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 sort of age is like the most fun isn't it like that's, you know you got to make mistakes but you don't want them to make t- t- the mistakes that are too bad that damage them later on in life and you don't want them to do things too early it's a minefield, isn't it? It's so it's difficult a as a parent to like, when you get to, we're not there yet, but we will be soon. And a lot of our friends are there. It's a, it's a hard one to navigate. One of, one of our friends um, has got a 16-year-old daughter and, and they were going to a party at one of the friends' house the other day. And her mum was like, what do you want me to, what do, do you want me to get you anything to take to the party? And she's like, yeah, a bottle of vodka. It's <laughs> like, a bottle of vodka? <laughs> My God, well, you'd like actually that, die if you drank that. Oh my God, that's the problem. You know what I mean? They don't know, do they? It's like yeah, but I didn't used to drink the hard stuff like that. Mine was always like a bloody snake bath, a hooch or a hooch. <laughs> Do you a hooch? A hooch? I always remember Anfield. They, they, was the only Breezer. place I ever saw was the hooch. There was a hooch sign. Like, I think it's made the in Liverpool. Is hooch. it? No, but you'd have a hooch or a, a Bacardi Breezer. I used to have, I used to drink um, Caribbean Twist. Do you remember them? Do you ever have that? No. Oh, so nice. Was that like rum? No, it was like a Bacardi Breezer kind of fizzy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I used to drink a load of them, like the Breezers and Mets and what was the other ones? The uh, WKD. I didn't like them. What was the other one? Two two dogs? Two dogs? Oh, that was just after the hooch. (laughs) (laughs) don't get it. I don't get it. Hooch the movie. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Hooch the movie. Ten and hooch. Hooch two. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're laughing at. I'm just trying to find the gag. If you can't find it, it's escaped you. Yeah, but it, it does it, it does worry me. You know, going but it it's so it's gonna be hard on Sophia because, you know, that she's our firstborn, so we're gonna be so much more tougher on her than when Jack's going out, we'll just be like, do what you want. Do you think it's different for girls and boys? Yeah. Shouldn't be though, should it? But it is. <laughs> it is. But uh, I think the thing to worry about with boys is, you know, them getting into fights and getting beat up or yeah. getting a girl pregnant. Do you know what I mean? Don't like either of those. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But it's a thing. They'd rather get beat up. <laughs> it's a thing. But did you ever get go out and get beat up when you were young? Not really. Like, I've never been a fighter. Like, I, yeah, I've been involved. There's an odd scrap here and there. But, you know, I was always getting security. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Barry. Barry. Bazaar. Sort this out. No, I'll, I'll get security. I thought you got slapped once. No, I remember being out. I remember being in Portsmouth and Portsmouth's like, 
it can be quite, if you're in the wrong place, it can be quite messy. Um, but I remember turning around to trade drinks, and I trade drinks like that, and I just got absolutely walloped. Um, but yeah, there's been a, a, the odd scrap. What do you mean, walloped? Not, like, just got punched in the face while I had, like, I had both my hands holding a tray. So I was like, a sitting duck. <laughs> oh. I just got a, got, got whack like a punch, yeah. But then, um, yeah, I had, like, a few scraps here and there, but not like, you know, I'd, I never, I wasn't a fighter. It kind of seems like, I feel like it seems less scary when we were young. I, I, I don't know. It wasn't like... I feel like we were more innocent when we were younger. I think so, maybe, yeah. Well, I suppose... Because you, you, there was no the, social media, you know. Like now, the, like the, the girls on social media, they mm. look about 25, don't they? Like 13-year-old girls or whatever. Like mm. with all the filters and the makeup and the professional makeup done, like... God, look at back at the state of us where we went out. <laughs> you know, absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. I, it was I like no me. inspiration or, you know. Me and you know, the all the kids, like Sophia now, like it's like a, like a generation thing. They're all wearing like the, the Norse face coats and the grey tracky bottoms and the Nike trainers, all like carbon copies of each other. Mm. Like I think there was more individual style back then because you didn't have anyone to... To look at, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or do, copy off. Do you want to hear our individual style though? I know yours, Ben we had, Sherman. We had the Ben Sherman pastel shirt, right? <laughs> but like, one of the lads would have like a green pastel, and I have like a purple pastel, a pink, and like a blue. All different pastel shirts, black jeans, and then like some like kick, Push puppies. kickers or something. <laughs> and like that was, so we all went out like a load of fruit pastels. <laughs> That was an exciting part, though, wasn't it? Oh, like going brilliant. out and like oh, so trying to like so much fun cop off. Yeah, so pathetic that I wish I wish all that was like. Fit, Did filled. you have a diary, babe? It is filled nowadays. That's a problem. Did you have a diary? I did have a diary. Yeah. Little black band. Yeah, I, I remember writing a diary of one of the secret nights out I had, and basically wrote everything that we did in there. And my mum found it. <laughs> <sighs> the other one is that there was an underage... I nearly got rehomed after that. There's an underage disc... Do you remember the underage discos? Did you go to them? Yeah, Under the Frenzy. Scenes. The Frenzy. There's one called Turpins in, uh, I think it was Uxbridge or Ryslip. They're worse than going at they're you They're the now. worst ones. Yeah, because everyone's just kissing. <laughs> like, there's like... People, you come around like... People come around just snogging like my sixth girl and you're like, what is going on in here? <laughs> That's what we did. I though. used to, I used to, I, I want to own up to this. I used to swear, I used to swerve them. I didn't go. I used to swear. I was so, I was so like worried about it all. I was like, nah, nah, I won't be a footballer if I go there. <laughs> That's probably what your dad told you. No, I know, but he must, he must have like drilled it into me because all the lads That's were like, good. oh, we're going to Turpins. They were getting the bus and stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm like, oh, I can't. I've got a match tomorrow. <laughs> Made it's it such up. a weird thing, like going into like a club and like snogging five different people in one night. Strange one, isn't it? So weird. It is a strange one, yeah. It's horrible. Do you think, does that go on now? Must in do. This COVID, COVID world that we live in? <laughs> Can't be doing that now, can you? <laughs> See, that? I think it's bizarre. Like, because even do that on, like, Love Island, like, all snog each other. Well, like, snog. Th I'm just thinking of the germs the whole time. But, like, it would be a really strange one now. Like, if you, like, for instance, like, say we split up, whatever, and like, you, went to a, you went to a nightclub at this age and just had six snogs. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fantastic. <laughs> it's so weird. Don't you think that'd be weird though? I couldn't the thought of putting someone's tongue in my mouth just knocks me sick. The gems. Oh. Bad breath. Don't want that. I haven't got any of that, babe. I'll just send you a little emoji. <laughs> it's so funny because obviously when we're it when I was a teenager and you think you can kind of do what you want and it's fine to like go out and sneak out and lie to your mum and dad and mm. And then when my sister, she was about 16 and she lived with us for a bit when she moved down to London and she was going out and I was like, you're not going out dressed like that. That's not a skirt, it's a belt. <laughs> you know, and then she'd like come stroll in at like four in the morning, walking up the path and I'd be like that at the door. What time is uh... this? And it's so funny, like now the age gap is kind of, like she's got, well, we've both got older, but the age gap's kind of, narrowed because yeah, she's yeah. more of an adult now um and we go out together but at the time i was like you can't be doing that you can't be going out mm. drinking you need to do this you need to do that 
When does it ever stop though? Like I do it now. Like if I go out like from slightly later than I've been I've scheduled with you, I'm just doing the exact same thing as I did when I lived at my mum and dad's house. Like I'm literally creeping in, just closing the door really quietly, sneaking upstairs. <laughs> yeah, but that's not very often. <laughs> no, I don't I don't go out without you really, do I? Not no. well, I don't go out out anyway. Who like out of our children now, yeah, you don't have to name them if you don't, but just say one, two, three or four. Well, that's obvious who that is. Yeah, but no one's going to be asked to work that out. I don't mind saying. Liberty. Liberty. She is nuts. And like the kindest, most gorgeous little girl. So fun. Mm -hmm. She's a name second. It's freedom, isn't it? absolutely mental. (laughs) Like she is going to be... She's good. She is funny. Very funny. She's She's good company. Fantastic personality. She'd probably be a bit wild, but like... I don't know, well, like a lovable rogue almost. But I actually, no, she's not naughty though, is she? No, she's not naughty, but that's what I mean. You, she's you love just her, but... fun. I want our kids to be able to come and talk to me about anything. And it felt like when I was growing up, you know, I had a great childhood, but I, I wouldn't like go to my mum and talk to her about a boyfriend mm. or really if I had a problem or... I, I, I just, it just wasn't that kind of relationship with my mum or my dad. Mm. Even though we're so close and we're such a tight family, but I think I, I, was the same. I think with our kids, you know, Sophia's opened up to us with quite a few things which I really like. Like some things she said to us, and Peter, oh my god, how do I actually deal with this? And I'm like, <laughs> it's great that she can. She feels confident enough to talk to us about anything, absolutely mm-hmm. anything, and I love that. And I think that will help us when we're going through those teenage years. Hopefully, because hopefully they won't lie to us as mm. much as we lied to our parents. Yeah, no, I, I, th- I think, like, I, I wasn't able to really to open up. I think I've touched on it before, you know, when I had that uh, girl, Karen, that lived opposite me, and every time she... You stopped bringing her up. Every time she <laughs> kept, she knocked on the door, my dad would go, ooh, <laughs> I know, she'd die inside. So I, ever since then, I was like, nah, like, yeah, but the, tell that, her anything that's, about girls. That's different, that because that's, like, making you feel embarrassed. But, you know, some people are, like, scared of the parents or can't open up, and it's, that can be quite hard for a child as well. Mm. But, you yeah, know, but not it, having that like support system or yeah. anyone to talk to. But it's also incredibly hard to go from, uh, you know, because you need that element of, um, yeah, you want them to be a little bit scared of you, or a little bit scared of the um, repercussions. repercussions. But then you also want them to open up to you because because they don't respect you if you go too far the other way. It's like until they're telling you about everything and you let them do whatever. Do you and know what I mean? Obviously, it's, there's a limit. That's what I'm saying. So, but it's a hard balance. I, I would like, you know our kids go like I've got a boyfriend or girlfriend but not tell me details 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 do you know what I mean no but I I would like them to say like he's really broke my heart he said this he said that or I want to ask this girl out or this boy out see I wouldn't have I wouldn't tell anyone anything like you didn't have bloody you were a virgin when you met me that time (laughs) (laughs) So, should we get into the agony ab? No, this one is, um, this is not an agony ab, they say, but more a declaration for my lo- the love of my poor husband, who has no say in the decor of our house, has to listen, listen to my constant neurotic thoughts as a helicopter mother to our two beautiful kids, and never gets to enjoy bonk beats as I'm too exhausted for the, uh, from being the cook, caregiver, and interior designer. I love you, fuckface. This is my pet name for him. We absolutely love your pod. It's so relatable to us. Um, so not only has he got no say in anything and he deals with a helicopter parent it gets no bonk beats um, or dinner by the by the sounds of it he's called fuckface <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never what a pet name I've that actually is. never swore at you in my life I think you have <laughs> I, I haven't, I haven't I think, called you, know, you fuckface no you wouldn't no, no. you don't you're not, not aggr- you're not that aggressive with your swearing I only like to use swearing as an, to embellish a story Mm. But I, I would never swear at someone. No. Fuckface, I mean, I, mean, I think that's their pet, this pet name. It's endearing. Fuckface. It's a bit harsh. <laughs> a bit harsh. A little bit harsh, isn't it? Interesting, though. Mm. Yeah, so she just wants to share that. Like, basically, it feels like that's me, isn't it? Other than the nickname. That, that's me. That's you. Yeah, I don't think that's what she's saying at all. She's saying that it's exactly. She's just literally saying I'm like Abby and he's like me. <laughs> so my poor husband, no saying the decor. Number one, listen to my constant neurotic thoughts as a helicopter mother. Two, 
Uh, never gets to enjoy Bomb Beats 3. Um, and you're exhausted. Our speaker's broken, our room. That's why. <laughs> God. Got uh, um, any more agony abs? Yeah, hey, both. Uh, firstly, love you both. As does my boyfriend. We've been together for six, seven months, all going amazing. We both work away a lot and often stay in hotels. Recently, he was working away and I was checking into his hotel while he had a work do so we could at least get some time together when he finished. He told me he'd left something for me in the room. It turns out he'd left me a packet of cheese and onion crisps, some decaf tea bags and an apple he got free from the gym. He thinks this was a cute gesture. I do agree he left a cute note. However, I'm hoping to hear your opinions on how cute you think this is. To add insult to injury, he's a scouser and I'm from down south. Is this a scouse thing and do I need to get with the program? Would it... Would would a scouser leave a packet of cheese and onion crisps from decaf tea bags and an app where you got free from the gym? No, because he's probably and say I've left, I've left a surprise up there. <laughs> 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 so pleased with himself. No, it's it's quite. Get yourself up there, Gil. <laughs> Gil, no, it's quite thoughtful. <laughs> thoughtful. It's quite thoughtful. Um, to do that. That he's gone. Right, while she's waiting for me, she'll have, make herself a little cup of tea, have a little snack, a little packet of crisps. Decaf, though, as well, and mm. cheese and onion. Baby, God, they're like such repellents, sexual repellents. They are, aren't they, yeah. She, she's going to be drowsy and stink of cheese. Isn't she? <laughs> drowsy, stink of cheese. <laughs> and the apple, she might choke on it. <laughs> Lose the tooth. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe he's just trying to poison you. Um... Yeah, I don't agree that that's a nice. It's, what I think it's a lovely gesture to have to have done done that. Do you remember when I did that incredible thing for you and I I, I put a uh, I got a bought a dress for you and some shoes, put the hotel. Yeah. And you had a whole outfit. It's like a uh, Sex and the City. I was like Mr. Big there, wasn't I? God, I love that day. That was so. <laughs> you see, there's there are little things you just forget that I've done. That was a good thing. Because you've never done it since. And that was about 15 years ago. <laughs> like, good, we though. were going out. It was a surprise. He was like, got a cab to pick me up. Brought me to a hotel. And I was like, do we need to bring a bag or anything? And he was like, no, no. Got to the hotel. And then when I got there, I was like, full outfit, dress, bag, shoes. And Mr. I was like... <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually took the dress back, the bag and the shoes. Shit. <laughs> I had to wear the frigging outfit I had on all day to go out with. <laughs> no. Um, the outfit and hated it. No, I was pregnant, wasn't I? Were you? I was pregnant at the time. No, I loved that. That was so nice. See how easy was that to do? Yeah, well, you know, it wasn't cheap, though. I <laughs> know, oh, but... Doesn't yeah. have to be to that extent. Yeah, but like I say, like that that, that's a nice, nice it's little... a nice idea, I think. Mm. But like, <clears throat> he should have gone like sensations or something, you know, like with the crisps. Now you got to posh, you got to go posh, crisps, like packet cheese and onion. If you if you went for a nice, I don't know. I'm just thinking of like a golden wonder bag. cheese and onion. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's what I mean. But like, I don't know, like a nice, even the note on its own would have been nice, wouldn't it? And a, some flowers. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Abby and Peter. I have. I have an agony ab. I want to I wanna know if I'm being dramatic or if it's my partner. That just is really annoying. Recently, he's taken to enjoy using mouthwash and I'm all good for oral hygiene, but it's the way he uses it that I'm having an issue with. He likes to gargle the tune of a ballad. Last night, it was the tip of the iceberg when he was gone. <laughs> Whitney Houston. <laughs> I will always love you so loud. And I'm trying to I'm trying to do my evening routine and I have that next to me. Is it just oh, me or is this something that needs to stop? I'd really appreciate any advice on this, please. Thank you, Megan. Oh, yeah, that's unreal. P.S. Yeah, surely uh, no one likes to hear anyone gargling. No, legend. I think I think it's superb. I mean, this is my cup of tea. This is this is, this is what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> I just only wish I'd have thought of it. I'm trying to gargle am <laughs> <laughs> I love mouthwash. So, so anything mouthwash. Mouthwash is an amazing thing. It is good, yeah. I like mouthwash. It's good. The thought of him laughing his head off, it's like the beaver emoji. It's like it's something for him. He's making himself laugh. No, he's he's, he's being serious. He's not laughing about it. What? He, no, he must be laughing. He's having a laugh, surely. No, he's not. Of course he is. 
Well, he's, he's gargling Whitney Houston and not laughing. You know, <laughs> gargling Whitney Houston with mouth, mouthwash before bed is a person that's definitely got no problems in his life. He's got no <laughs> so, stress. Exactly. That's all I like about him. He's going to bed, like, happy. Happy. Yeah. yeah, so why don't we celebrate him? Yeah. Like, it could be like, oh, God, such a horrible day at work. I can't sleep. Problems. I'm so stressed. Yeah. Gargling Whitney Houston. Gargling Whitney Houston. That's a six-minute song, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some high notes in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a that's ledge. A, that's and a I think happy man making, to me. Yeah, Megan, I think, listen, you're making him happy. If he's gargling Whitney Houston at that time of night, you've made, you're have you making him happy. And she she happy might not be making it. him happy. He might just be happy in himself. Oh, right. Well, listen, you know. Happiness comes from I was within. trying to involve Megan as well. You've nailed it, Megan. You've you've hit the jackpot. Hey guys, my husband and I are thinking about trying for our second baby, which we always planned around our son's second birthday, which is in August this year. But I've just found out my work colleague is now pregnant after another colleague. Hang on, can you read this? I can't read it. I can't read. I know it's becoming an issue, that isn't it? <laughs> Why can't you read? I can read, but I can't, it Obviously doesn't can't. come out of my mouth. I obviously can. <clears throat> hey guys, my husband and I are thinking of trying for our second baby, which we'd always planned around our son's second birthday, which is in August this year. But I've just found out my work colleague is now pregnant after another colleague has just gone on maternity leave. I'm the manager of a small business and we all work and I'm all I'm very terrified of falling pregnant now I have, and having to tell my boss that I'll be the third employee off at the same time. Do I wait a few more months to save my boss the worry or do I keep our plans of a second baby? as we had dreamed of originally. I've never been a selfish type, but if now's not the time to be selfish with all our family plans, I don't know when is. Katie in Southampton. She sounds lovely, yeah. Oh, she's worried about a boss and like everyone being off at the same time. That's so nice. And what is it? It's only a small business, is it? Mm. Uh, and it, and it oh, that's, that's a lovely thing to think about, isn't it? It's, it's, it's nice that, well, that she's worrying about that. There's plenty of people that wouldn't. No. It'd just be like, right, now this is how we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, it's never a right time to have a baby, isn't it, really? You plan it. No, I mean, whatever you plan, it's... I, I think, I, I don't know. Because if you talk to your boss about it, it's... Yeah, but also, getting pregnant is not as easy as that. A lot of the time for a lot of people. Mm. You know, it's all good and well saying I'm going to try for a baby in August and get pregnant. It could take two years to get pregnant. I think she should, you know, she knows she wants another baby. She could, she should start trying when she wants to and just go with the flow because, mm. you know, you can't plan that far in advance and you, you don't know what's going to happen. But she sounds like a really nice, yeah. kind girl. Katie, I think you'll make the right decision. Um, just, yeah, do... Do you. you yeah. Do you, hon. Do you, hon. Right, so um, I think we should I think we should finish off because we, we're having a barbecue today, aren't we? It's a bank holiday. We are having a barbecue. It's a bank holiday and I'm slightly nervous that I've... You know when you kind of just invite too many people and mm. now I'm like, oh, why did I do that? Mm. Over-promised, under-delivered. Over-promised, no, no. Santa's been... <laughs> the food Santa's been. <laughs> yeah, we've got loads. And the drink Santa. I went this morning. Got a load of stuff in, didn't I? Yeah. I sent Peter eight once I Googled the shops were open at eight. Pete was in the in the shop at eight AM. Get supplies. That's just what's what I'm about. Top lad. You know what I mean? Bank holiday, no lying for me. Straight out there. Making the day great for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Enjoyed this part. It's nice listening to, you know, the retrobate you were as a young lady. Um, and lady. just hope our daughter's nothing like you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's why I was slightly worried because you're asking me, you're asking me what were the bad things I did. They were yeah, the bad well, things I did. plenty of good things. But they you... weren't bad. They were bloody, I bloody love going out and snogging five lads in one yeah. day. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Best, time, best time of my life. Fantastic. Take me back to when I was 15. No. But I wasn't a hoe. Right. No way. Were you not? No. Lady in the street with a freak in the bed. No, we got a headline out of that, didn't we? From this lady, podcast. lady in the lady in the street asleep in the bed. A little sleep in the bed. Fucking hell, gone change now, haven't you? Maybe it's just me. It's boring you to tears. You should get back into frenzy. <laughs> Start enjoying yourself. What the hell, guys? We need to cl we need to click the subscribe button on YouTube because there's going to be so many more features on there, mm. added clips, bonus bonus content, and you don't want to miss it.
Uh, so yeah, this is out on Tuesday. So yeah, please subscribe. Send the comments, as you said. Um, and this is out on Tuesday. Um, but there's a better podcast out on Wednesday. And we've got Ted Lasso on us and that Peter Crouch podcast. So I am going to plug the, my podcast on it. And I'm not going to intervene. I don't mind you plugging it. Um, we've got Ted Lasso. It's not just me. And it's, you know, Ab's not on it. And Ted Lasso is Jason Sebudis. <laughs> <laughs>